destructive activities. Just what damage is there in overindulgence of sex? The greatest damage is that it depletes the source of man's greatest driving force and wastes, without adequate compensation, man's creative energy. It dissipates energy needed by nature to maintain physical health. Sex is nature's most useful therapeutic force. It depletes the magnetic energy which is the source of an attractive, pleasing personality. It removes the sparkle from one's eyes and sets up discord in the tone of one's voice. It destroys enthusiasm, subdues ambition, and leads inevitably to the habit of drifting on all subjects. I would like for you to answer my question in another way, by telling me what beneficial ends the emotion of sex may be made to attain if mastered and transmuted. Controlled sex supplies the magnetic force that attracts people to one another. It is the most important factor of a pleasing personality. It gives quality to the tone of voice, and enables one to convey through the voice any feeling desired. It serves as nothing else can serve to give motive power to one's desires. It keeps the nervous system charged with the energy needed to carry on the work of maintaining the body. It sharpens the imagination and enables one to create useful ideas. It gives quickness and definiteness to one's physical and mental movements. It gives one persistence and perseverance in the pursuit of one's major purpose in life. It is a great antidote for all fear. It gives one immunity against discouragement. It helps to master laziness and procrastination. It gives one physical and mental endurance while undergoing any form of opposition or defeat. It gives one the fighting qualities necessary under all circumstances for self-defense. In brief, it makes winners and not quitters. Okay, guys, so check me out, man. Today is the day that I really realized that semen retention is basically the superpower for men. And I always knew about semen retention, no fab. I've, I've been doing this since, like, a little kid. And now that, you know, I fought my, um, my, my, my desires and my sexual... Well, I didn't fully fight off my sexual desires. I've still been having casual sex and shit like that. But I've realized that, like, <laughs> yo our semen and everything like that is actually a true superpower that we're not supposed to like give out and i've realized that today to the max part that like i've realized this whole like month two months since i've been almost off semen retention having casual sex and everything like that and basically just like busting and you know I i've actually been practicing to be fully transparent right i've been doing having casual sex as well but there's this thing where you transmute your sexual energy up into your body and i've been really into that so sometimes I busted and sometimes I didn't practicing this practice. But now that I truly realize this is it's actually really crazy that our sexual energy and our semen and um everything that we got going on is actually our superpower. And when you withhold from sex and you keep holding on to your seed and you keep doing what you're supposed to be doing and you know you're focused and you're fighting off all of the temptations and shit, you actually become a superior man of like who i want to be i start to slowly really become him and because when you're on senior retention all sorts of things like that right for for a mass a long time you start to see yourself in different visions where you want to keep getting better and there's a lot of thoughts going in your brain and you know you just want to keep going higher 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 and your your standards basically start to rise times 10 and really understanding that we're not supposed to give this up and not like i knew semen retention is truly the way but i didn't really know for some reason i just i kept fighting it off i'm like man i don't know you know i don't give a fuck if i buzz if i buzz you know this that and the third but now like really understanding and really reading upon this and really having seen that there's knowledge behind this that you can connect with god really times 10 it just brings me back to the time when I was going on two months of semen retention. And when I was on two months of semen retention, man, I'm telling you right now, those were the best two months of my life where I was going to church every Sunday. And I, I still do. And tomorrow I'm going to church. But basically, I was connecting with God for real. And I kept seeing myself as higher and higher and higher. And, you know, even connection with women, they all were like, bro, that, that semen retention thing where uh you know you get women and the woman attraction that shit is a hundred percent true like i swear to you like where people are looking at you and they're, they're staring and they're basically almost like in awe of you that shit is a hundred percent true 
Because even in this, like, for, like two months that I haven't really been on Seymour Retention, it's like I'll go a week and then, you know, sometimes I'll fill my practice and then boom, my bus. Basically, I would get looks, of course, you know, because I always self hold myself highly and all sorts of things. But I was, n I'm not nearly getting as much looks as when I'm on Seymour Retention. And it's just that attraction of you being a real strong masculine man with goals and basically holding on to your sexual energy it really is a ball of energy it's a ball of aura that's surrounding you bro this shit is so fucking deep bro basically we are actually not even supposed to be busting like i'm just coming across this now it's like you know all this casual sex all this shit this hookup culture all things like that it actually is bad for you <laughs> like you're busting you're spending time you're wasting energy with people that you're not even like you know, I'd fuck a girl, and I'm just like, man, I don't even like you. Like, it's crazy, bro. It, it actually becomes that crazy where casual sex is not good. <laughs> like, it's just not. And, you know, really realizing that, you know, why we are supposed to wait till marriage and all sorts of things like that um, to have casual sex. And like I said, like, even for most people, they would just hear that shit be like, yo, you're fucking crazy waiting for um, marriage. And that that's basically my views as well, like, where I, I'm still iffy on it. I can't even lie to you, but. I understand the purpose of why we're supposed to be holding on to our seed. It literally will form you into a greater version of yourself. Like, it really will. And I, bro, those past two months when I was really on semen retention, I was posting every single day, bro. I was having ideas flowing, my creativity, all sorts of things was really going. Not saying that it stopped, right? Like, now I've been more of, like, like three, four times out of the week posting. But, man, when I was on semen retention everything connects and makes you go higher i swear it's so crazy even to think about where even where i feel as if um my rest and my uh recovery i don't need to recover i would wake up in the middle of the night at like one two o'clock in the morning when i have work at like five and i get up normally at four and i'm just like man i can't even go to sleep like i, I can't even go to sleep i just have so much energy i have to keep doing um and keep going hard and using my energy to keep going and it will literally make you grow the longer that you hold on to it and i understand the flat line of holding your sexual energy but god is literally telling us like yo you this is the way you're supposed to go and i'm just truly realizing this stuff where you need to be on seam retention in order to have great amount amount of success in life i promise you if you just hold on to your seed and you keep holding on to it you're only going to keep growing right and fighting off the sexual desires of, like, women is crazy hard for me. Like, really hard. Like, I love women. I love the energy. I love to be around them. But really realizing, like, it brings me into real lustful thoughts make it, like, crazy. It's just so crazy. And, wow. But, like, it's so mind-blowing that, like, you know, just, like, I, I keep reminiscing on those those two months. Like, which I'm going to get back on my senior touch. I'm not busting for shit. I swear. I'm not. I don't give a fuck what happens in my brain. I'm not busting. But basically, like, you are, bro. You hold yourself, like, almost to king standards where, man, all you want to keep grow do is keep growing and keep staying focused on your goals. Like, sometimes I'd be drifting off of my goals sometimes. I couldn't even lie. But when I was on that senior retention, bro. And I kept going, and I was on those two, three months where boom, 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 boom. That shit was, bro, I was on it all day, every day. And it's just crazy to realize that I'm just realizing this now. Like, I wish I knew this when I was younger and all sorts of things. I really wish I knew, like, really the importance, you know? Like, all that I really knew was, like, the benefits of, oh, you get more girls and this, that, and the third. But, like, truly for m masculine success, to in order to be great, you have to hold on to your seed. I've seen this from videos of uh, my favorite YouTubers, um, even a lot of boxers. They talk about semen retention because it's actually true. Like a month before a fight, they'll hold their whole seed or three months. They'll hold their seed in that max masculine essence. And, uh, you know, the aura on, you know, just holding on to your semen makes you so much fucking stronger. Like you want to keep doing every single day. When you're on semen retention, bro, you're not even... Bro, there. you know when you have those days when there's like, oh, no fucking, uh, oh, I don't feel like doing this or I don't feel like doing that. You know, you feel lazy and all sorts of things. It's so rare to get one of those days, you know, but when you consistent, consistently bust and you might still have a lot of energy as I do sometimes. But it's like you're, you're kind of like aimless, like just going, going, going throughout life. But when you are on Seamerton, you are so focused. You are actually a higher man than the average guy who keeps busting to porn and all sorts of things. You are actually 
better than him without you even realizing the shit. Like, you are actually becoming way greater. And this is where sexual energy and, you know, learning how to control lust will bring you way more success. Because even just, like, women, it's like, you know, a lot of guys have problems. Even me, like, bro, I love women. I love to be around women. I love to fuck. I'm going to keep it straight up. I love to fuck. And it's when you're holding off and you're just like, nah, bro, I got to be successful. I got to keep doing my thing. You will see how disciplined you are without even really necessarily trying to be as disciplined. Like you just wake up seven in the morning. You wake up seven in the morning. For most people who are busting, they, they like seven in the morning is like, whoa, man, this so uh, this so early, and you know they're so lazy they can't even do shit. They don't want to do shit. Like, and I've really realized this from most of the people throughout the day that I know and I see. Nobody's disciplined to go do something. Everyone wants to live for pleasure and you know. Just just basically busting pleasure, real shit, you know, and that's what we were accustomed to to grow up and think of as a kid. Like, really, like when I was a kid, bro, I was watching porn from when I was 11 or 12 years old. I remember the first time doing that shit. And, bro, this it's normalized. Like, nobody really knew about the semen retention shit. I really didn't. Like, I really wish we knew this from kids that like, yo, if you just put it straight like this, if you hold on to your semen, um... If you, if you hold on to your semen, you're on semen retention, you'll be a great person. Just straight like that. If I knew that from when I was a kid, I would have still thought, I would have still probably went through the trials and tribulations of just keep consistently jerking off off of porn and shit like that. But I think semen retention truly needs to be taught to kids and all sorts of, all humans, but especially kids because... From when we're kids, we are lusting so hard. You're in school. I don't know if you guys remember, but when you're in school and your dick just gets hard, I know, like, bro, you are just lusting and consistently watching porn will make it more harder. Like, you will keep, like, getting boners out of nowhere and you'll be so much, like, lusting over this girl you want to fuck in this classroom. I remember just consistently thinking, like, yo, I want to fuck her, I want to fuck her, and just, like, literally getting crazy thoughts in my head. But when you hold on to your seed and you do it for a massive amount of time, you you have like a ball of energy and you're consistently like growing, but you're not as like lustful. I remember I wasn't as lustful. I didn't, you know, I wanted to use my energy to keep going on goals without you even like putting it into your brain. You're just like, okay, I'm going to go to boxing or I'm just going to go weightlifting or I'm just going to keep doing my YouTube or the ton uh, four o'clock. I'm going to do my YouTube from four to f uh, four to nine or four to ten. Like literally, you're just so fucking focused. And I, I truly believe that semen retention will help you. Like, it's going to help you. It's not even that I truly believe. It's like, it's actual facts. Like, it's stated facts that you need to hold on to your seat. This is what makes a regular man and then a disciplined man is semen retention. If he holds on to his seat, it will make him so much more better. I didn't, like, I knew this, but I didn't truly knew, like, yo, this is factual facts. You know what I'm saying? Like, I went through it. I did the benefit. I had a lot of the benefits and shit. But for some reason, I just don't know why I didn't truly, like, believe it, I guess. Like, I didn't. You know what I'm saying? Like, I truly didn't believe it. And holding on to it, there's going to be so much benefits from it. It's actually crazy. It's 100% crazy. Like, you are that guy when you're on senior retention. That, just put it that way. You're actually that guy. You will become something really great. Continually work on what you're supposed to be doing. And without fault or without temptation or, you, I want to go to the bar, I want to go to, like, or the club, like, you're just like, man, fuck that, I just want to work. I don't really give a fuck about anything else. I want to go hit the gym. I want to go train. Like, you literally become the best version of yourself and you consistently start rising. And just literally hearing these videos that I've been watching from, like, Napoleon Hill and shit like that, these guys opened my eyes to, like, the real culture of this world where casual sex is... It's normalized. Like, busting nuts is normalized. Like, having sex without marriage is normalized. All of this shit is normal. And I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm, like, you know, full-on going to not have sex until marriage. I'm probably not. I, I, I probably will have sex before marriage, and I can't even lie to you. But, like, just really realizing that this is the key, this is the way, this is what you're supposed to do in order to be successful. Oh, like I said, a lot of my YouTube, favorite YouTubers, Patrick Beth David, there was a video caption i might put a clip in this video of why he spent uh 17 months on semen retention or refraining from sex because that essence and that power will literally lead you to be a crazy good strong man 
Um, another of my favorite YouTubers did it as well. Like, there's so many people. This is why boxers hold their seed before going into fights so they can feel the energy and just continuously train without feeling, oh, I don't want to feel train today. Like, you know, how you get so many of those thoughts when you're not on semen retention. I'm telling you. Like, some days I'm like, man, I don't even want to do my YouTube and this, that, and that. When I'm on semen retention, it's not even a thought. Or if that thought comes out, I fight it off. Like, it's like, no, we're doing our work. Let's just shut up. Like, straight up, you are just so much more stronger when you're holding your seed. And... Oh, I don't know why I didn't fucking yo. It's like I know this, but I'm I'm faulting and keep I kept busting and shit. But it was like fuck, bro. Like, like, like I, I practice this um on uh, ejaculating up the spine where your um your semen or your nut doesn't go out. Like you don't basically when you bust a nut, it it busts up inside you and you feel really good. And I'm gonna make a whole separate video on that because that's gonna that that'll help you last like two three hours with sex and all sorts of things and um I, i'm gonna release that video too really soon but literally i was doing that but even when i was doing that i still like sometimes i nutted and sometimes um sometimes uh like you know you sometimes you just generally don't feel as good you know because you're orgasming up your spine but you're still like not a hundred percent on tre semen retention if that's the way to put it you know but basically, this video was just literally to let you guys and open up your eyes to, like, semen retention, semen retention is the truth. Like, this is the way. This is what we're supposed to be doing as men. And and just in order to be successful in whatever you do, you must hold your seed. You must really do this in order to succeed. And now that I know this, it's like, it's like in the rule book of life, what you're supposed to be doing, semen retention, it will be a ch checked off. Like, I'm not going to bust for a long time. I don't even give a fuck. Um, I not promising that I won't have casual sex. I can't even lie about that, but that isn't on my top of my mind. Like I'll probably have sex in like three months. I don't really give a fuck about that. I, I want my goals. I don't care about any of that. I'm focused on what I got going on. The semen retention will make you that fucking guy. I promise you, bro. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, bro. And you guys, if you guys didn't watch my last video, I'm gonna leave that shit right here for you guys. So stay yourself, stay 300. Whatever you do in life, trust me, I believe in you, bro.